Hello and welcome back to my channel, Cards by Melissa Miner. Today I'm going to be creating an 8.5 by 11 scrapbook page. The theme this month is Friends February or February Friends. And I have these adorable pictures of my daughter and a couple of her friends. So my daughter is the brunette in the center. And this is actually the one photo and I've cropped it a little and I've turned it into two photos. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to position it on the page so you can see a little bit of both. So first I'm going to start off by bringing in this Dis Tim Holtz Distressed Watercolor Paper. This is the 8.5 by 11 size. And I'm going to spritz it a little bit with water to get it nice and wet. And then I'm going to be bringing in um, these water gems from Pink and Main. So these are a lot of fun. I don't know if you've ever created anything with these, but a little bit goes a long way. So I'm bringing in this yellow color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my fan brush here and I'm just going to dab a little bit in the powder. And then I'm going to sprinkle it around the page um, into the water. Now I am primarily focused um, in the corners because I am going to be covering up the majority of this paper um, with some pattern papers, but I believe the corners are going to show. So I'm focusing primarily on the corners. So I'm just going to continue dabbing my little fan brush here into these water gems. And if you are interested in the water gems, I do have an affiliate link that I will leave posted down below in the description box. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep dabbing this and I think I have enough color here. And then I'm gonna take uh, my water spritzer bottle and I'm gonna move it around just a little bit more by going over just the little places on the cardstock here where I think it needs a little bit more water. And that's just gonna spread out that color even more. Now to bring in a little bit more color to the paper, I'm gonna be bringing in a couple Distress Oxide inks. And the colors that I'm gonna be using today on my paper are Mustard Seed, and I'm also gonna be bringing in some Scattered Straw. So I'm gonna be using um, the technique here the ink smooshing technique where I've smooshed a little bit of the ink um, onto my mat and then I have a little piece of plastic here and I'm going to dab a little bit of this also onto my cardstock. And you know I'm using different shades of yellow here to get a good color. Um, you know when you don't have the exact color of pattern paper that you're looking for, why not create your own? And so that's exactly what I'm doing here. So now I'm bringing in the scattered straw and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna smoosh a little bit onto my mat and then I'm gonna take my water bottle and spritz it. And then I'm gonna put my packaging onto my hand here and I'm gonna pick a little bit of that up and I'm just gonna go around the cardstock here and get a little more color onto my page. Just pick that up until I get the color that I'd like. So I think that this yellow is gonna be perfect um, for the pictures that I'm scrapbooking. And speaking of the pictures, the pictures that I'm scrapbooking today are my daughter and her friends at a Mizzou football game. And how perfect is this with the Super Bowl being tomorrow? So I thought this would be great to scrapbook a football layout to go along with our themes with friends and football although it's not the right teams, it's still a football layout. So if you're not aware, I am making an eight and a half by 11 scrapbook album for my daughter to document her high school days. And um, I will have the entire series linked down below. I have a playlist. And as she goes through her freshman year, I am creating a page of all of her memories as they happen. So this was one that happened back uh, in the fall, but I still want to go back and um, get this created. So here I brought in some paints and I'm gonna add a little bit of this gold. So these are some watercolor paints here and all you do is you take your water brush 
and you squeeze a little bit into the paint and then you just tap a little bit onto your page. And so this gold is super shiny and I know it's really hard to appreciate it on the camera because the camera kind of makes it look like brown spots. <laughs> I promise it's not brown. It's like really gold and sparkly in person. All right, so here we go. And I have um, all of that. I did dry that with my heat tool. So I have a couple pieces of pattern paper cut down. And the pattern paper that I'm using here, this green is actually from Close to My Heart Skylark, Skylark paper pack, excuse me. That was a recent paper pack. It was a bring back my pack, I believe. And then this black and white, I really like it. It was, um, it's from the January, February, 2024 mix-ins from Close to My Heart. And so I will leave the measurements of those two pieces of pattern paper down below in the description box if you're interested in recreating this layout. So what I'm doing here is I'm matching up the two photos. I want to, you can kind of see where like on the football field, it says Mizzou, I believe. And so I would like to line up where it says Mizzou on the photos and just line them up so it looks like one photo. And then I want to leave enough room in that upper right hand side for my title. And so I'm trying to figure out exactly where I need to, um, to put that title. So let me bring in my title here and I'm going to use this friends. And this is from the stamp set. This is called stars and sparklers scrapbooking. Now this is an older stamp set from my stash, but maybe you have it or you can look for it possibly maybe on eBay or something. But um, I really like this friend's title. It's, it's large and it also has the thin cuts that go with it. And then I've taken my uh, Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers and I've colored in the friends with the um, gold yellow blend. So now that I have laid out where I think I want the pictures and where that title is going to fit, I do want to go ahead and get these pieces of pattern paper glued down to the cardstock so that I can start the fun part of embellishing this layout. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in my precision glue press here. And I am going to get this adhered down to my cardstock. Now I did notice that my, even though this is watercolor paper and it is meant for water, it did, um, it is crinkly a little bit. It did warp just a little bit. I think it's gonna be okay. And I probably could have ran it through like my die cut machine maybe to, to smooth it out. Um, but I think it's okay. I could set a book on it. Um, it doesn't really bother me, but I did want to just mention that if that bothers you, I wanted to just let you know that it, it does warp just a little bit. So I was a little surprised by that. Okay. So now that I have this piece of the Skylark pattern paper glued down, now I'm going to bring in this black and white mix in sheets. And I debated on whether I wanted to ink the edges in black, but I really think that I like the contrast of the colors well enough um, against that yellow that I didn't want to I didn't want to add in that black. I really like just the light, the light colors here. So I chose not to ink the edges. Okay, now I've got this piece of pattern paper glued down. So I can bring back in my pictures and also my title because I know where those are going to go. So I think I want to glue these pictures together first so that way I can adhere them to the page. So let me bring in my tape runner here and I'm going to just get these glued together. Put a little piece of tape. There we go. So I've got those taped together. So about the photo, so the girl on the left, her name is Ava, and she is a sophomore. And then my daughter is Tatum in the center. She is a freshman. 
And then on the right hand side, that is Kendall and she is also a sophomore. And Kendall, the one on the right, um, that is who these girls, they went to the game with Kendall and her family. So I thought that was such a cute picture of the girls. I mean, I had to scrapbook it and Kendall was nice enough to share the photo with me. So thank you, Kendall. All right, let me go ahead and get this adhered down. I don't know why I have so much trouble with these tape runners. I don't know if it's anyone else or is it just me? I, that's why I'm really, really spoiled by this precision glue press. I hardly ever use tape runner, but when I adhere my photos to the page, I do like to use tape runner as I'm always afraid that glue will ruin my photos. So. I do use the tape runner still on that. Okay, so we've got that glued down. That looks good. I really like the way this is looking. So let me get this title glued down. And we'll just put that right up there. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna finish off this title. So I wanna bring in these little um these are called die cut titles these are also from close to my heart and this is in the black and these are newer and i want to spell out the word best and i like mixing these two fonts together i think that's so fun and these are like um like a chipboard um so it gives it a little dimension to my page and i really like the black the boldness um, in this, in the word best. And I think it really, it kind of draws out the, my daughter's, um, what she's wearing, how she's wearing the black. I think it kind of draw, helps draw your eye to my daughter and she is the focus of this layout. So I really like how the black in the title, I think does that. Okay. So let me get these glued down. So leave me a comment down below with it being tomorrow with being the Super Bowl, which team are you rooting for? So I live in Missouri, so obviously I'm going to be rooting for the Kansas City Chiefs, but um, I, I'm interested in who you're rooting for. Okay, I'm also going to be bringing in this. Now this is a three by three postage frame, and this is a new die from close to my heart. I just got this and I'm so excited to use it. And so I'm gonna frame in this layout. Now, how cute is this? It really draws your eye to the center of the page. So this is a tip if you want to draw your eye to your photo, you can place a frame around it. So this is a good way to do that. So I'm bringing in my tape runner here because this is gonna go directly on top of my photo. And so I wanna make sure it's photo safe. I'm struggling a little bit with my tape runner, but I am gonna get it here. So I will, I'm going to place this photo frame over the photo and I have cut this out in the Sundance card stock. So let me get that placed right there. Isn't that cute? I love that. Okay, so that is super cute. And now we need to get some embellishments on the page. So the next thing I'm gonna bring in is this stamp and die set. Now this is super old, but I really like that football helmet. And so I went ahead and stamped and colored that off camera. That is called Paper Pal Sports. And so I'm gonna use that. And then I'm also gonna be bringing in the barbecue grill from that stamp and die set that I brought in earlier. That's the Stars and Sparkler scrapbooking set. So I know I want the grill because, you know, football and tailgating, I thought that was super cute. And then I also wanna bring in um, this. This is called Number One Fan. And I wanna bring in this banner and so I've cut this out um, in a piece of just pattern paper that I had. I usually keep a bag of different pieces of yellow um, cards or pattern paper. I have a whole bag of all different types of pattern paper because 
my daughter's school colors uh, for grade school, um, they were purple and gold, so I had the gold color. And now that she's in high school, it's black and gold. So I have all kinds of gold laid out already. So I dug through my gold stash and I found um, this little pattern paper. And so I cut that little, it looks like one of those um, flags that you see. So look at that. So I think that's pretty much how I want to embellish my page. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this flag. I can't think of what that flag's called. Pennant banner, I believe. I believe it's called a pennant banner. You know, like the ones that you see um, in college with the, with the college name on them. It's not coming to me. I'm sure you all are like screaming what it's called, um, but I can't think of it for some reason right now. Okay, so I'm gonna get this glued down and then I believe I wanna use a little bit of foam tape here on my barbecue grill and also on my helmet. So I don't wanna add a lot of dimension to this album, but a piece here and there um, isn't going to make that big of a difference. So I'm gonna add a little piece on the grill and then just a little piece here on the helmet. And I love how the die for the helmet like cuts out the center of it. All right, so we got that glued down. I love it. Let's see, let me move it over just a little bit. So I've got my little triangle here of embellishments. And I think I want to add a little bit of something to the helmet. So I'm gonna bring in some markers here. I wanna add a little gold element um, just to bring in the gold. So I have these Spectrum Noir metallic paint markers and I have the smallest one with the fine tip and I'm just gonna go around and add a little bit of detail. I'm gonna color in like the edges here on this helmet just to draw in the gold. And that's from the little speckles that we put on the pattern paper just to kind of tie that gold all in together. And so let me just add this on here really quick. I like the way that's looking. Now I mentioned earlier that this is a paper crafting YouTube hop. So be sure to click down in the description box below and click on all of my paper crafting friends YouTube pages to see what they've created to interpret the friends theme for February. Okay, so I have that completed and now I am going to, I need to add some journaling I'm gonna add some journaling down here in the bottom left-hand corner. So off camera, I did complete the journaling and then I've also added in some gold sparkle gems. So let me bring this up close to the camera so you can see. And that finishes the layout. So if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you're not already a subscriber, you can subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications so that you'll be notified every time that I release a new video on my channel. I do release uh, at least two videos a week on my channel and I appreciate you stopping by today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.